Yeah, guys. Um, sorry, I got interrupted by a call, and then I accidentally pressed the wrong button. But I'm down here at the shipyard. They have two securities now. There we go. They have two security guards up, and, and some more. I'm foreigners. I'm not gonna say expat workers. They foreigners are here. I am so sorry that we got cut off just now, but um. A few years ago, I was saying in the last video, Caleb about and laid across the road saying, "No, these are not Bahamians going to work, mind you. Not one Bahamian yet. Not one Bahamian I've seen going to work yet. This is the shipyard." in Freeport Grand Bahama. It's very early. It's about 6 30. Here, here comes more people coming in here. They're not Bahamians. These could have been our young men going to work. Look at the pile of them coming now. Look at this man. Go to work man. This is what's happening guys. This is what's happening. Mm -hmm. Oh, you need to see the bus. The bus is dropping them off now. There's a bus dropping them off. Just keep a look at this. Not one Bahamian, guys. Not, a Bahamian. Not one Bahamian going to work, man. Not one. Look at this, man. This is crazy. Hmm? This is crazy. Look at this. Not one Bahamian going to work. And they are trying to tell you that they need to make it easier for people to apply for these people to come in this country and work. Real talk, man. Real talk. You see this? I'm hoping you guys share this video. This is early in the morning. This happens every day. You know how many of our young men are laying up at home with nothing to do? Look at this, uh, that have been trained to do these same jobs. Our young men, they had an excuse when they said, we didn't have anybody uh, qualified to do these jobs. I mean, these are these, um, uh, minimal, um, uh, what you call it? Manual labor, the sandblast, etc. You see this, guys? Man, let me just say, you all tell me I play in politics, I will cuss, you know. You know, I want to curse. I want to do something more than just shoot videos, man. I want to do more than just talk. You guys should want to do more than just to watch me talk. I feel this for our young men. I am almost to tears. This happens every day. And see where the two behemoths are? See, they're the two security guards. Thank God they got a job. But Jesus Lord, man, come on, guys, man. Now they want to make it easier to apply for these people to get in our country. What are we going to do? Come on, man. Where, where is our compassion for our young men and women that have been trained to do this? That have been trained. These people have to be housed, fed, and their money goes home. It doesn't stay in our country. Man, if this thing ain't heartbreaking to you guys, man, come on. Come on, man. Look at this, man. Huh? These people go into work while our young men are laying up at home with nothing to do. These people have something. They can take care of their family. What's happening here, man? This is the shipyard in Freeport, Grand Bahama. Graham right afoot. I'm hoping you that you get this video, bro. Get this video and share this video while our young men, our young men are, my God, are trying to do whatever it takes to feed their families. You see what's happening here? These jobs are belong to Bahamians. Hmm? You see this? This is sickening. Huh? Yeah, we're here trying to fight the couple Haitians here. This is happening at the shipyard, Freeport Grand Bahama. And who don't like it, I don't know. This is what I'm concerned about. These are our young men. 
I'm sure our young men could do, if not all, half of these jobs, man. Come on, man. And we still playing politics, man. This this is heartbreaking to me, man. I'm telling you, there are thousands of these people here in Freeport, Grand Bahama. Can you imagine what this would have done for our economy? I wish I could have bring him on camera. But then again, um, I don't know what to do. And the minute I go out there and I get in trouble, all you can hear is that's how Casey go. Casey don't mind his own business. Bruh, I'm just trying to bring some enlightenment, enlightenment so you guys can understand that the politics has destroyed many countries before. And politics is now here to destroy us. We cannot belong to any color. All you got to do, you see what I see here? In the name of Jesus Christ, I see young men, bohemian men doing these jobs. I see all of these men gone. I see our young men here, fill, and women who've been trained to do these jobs. I see my young men, y'all can't see this, man. Oh, God. Oh, come on. Y'all got to feel this. I mean, look at, and more coming, guys. More are coming. I got up out of my bed. Graham gave me the idea. I said, go ahead and film this. Because people ain't going to believe. They ain't going to believe this. This poor Pablo. Man, you know how I feel about our young men. This is what I used to do before I started this advocacy. Is train our young men how to be better citizens. How do you be better citizens when you've prepared yourself for this? And what happens? What happens when you've prepared yourself? You haven't broken any laws and you are here and all you want to do is provide for your family and look at what happens, man. You all gotta be joking, man. You all don't want to fight. You don't want to fight for our young men? Let me be the first to apologize. Let me be the first to apologize to our young men and women of this country. Look at what's happening in your country, ladies and gentlemen. Look at what's happening. Y'all gotta feel this, man. These are our babies' jobs. They prepared themselves for this job. And these things are not offered to them. What is? What are we to do? The only thing we can do is come together and demand more and stop being loyal. You tell me Peter Turnquist and don't know this happening? We got five people in the House of Assembly representing us here in Freeport, Grand Bahama. And this still happening. Come on, K. Smith, you from, from Freeport, you know what's happening here. Man, look here. I don't know if I'm feeling this because I'm here. But I see those faces. I see them look. They, these could be our, our sons and daughters uh, coming here, man. We could do these jobs, man. And if any of y'all know me, I'm totally against jobs. But because we are the wealthiest country in, 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 in terms of natural resources. But look at what's happening. And to get here. And God is it's almost like God is at the gate here. He's saying, you don't need these jobs. Let these people have this job. You see that stuff they're mining? That's your wealth. That's your wealth there. I will go. Let me show you what's happening at the gate. But this is just a taste. Tomorrow morning. No, you know what? I'll do this again this, this evening. I'll come here this evening. If they let me in. Because, you know, once you they see somebody's doing this, the, the, now the checkpoint will be probably to the gate. But they can't, they can't even hide this. They can't hide this. All right, I'm going to go. I'm hoping you guys stay with me. I'm going to go to the gate. And this is the workforce. I'm going to show you that ha what's happening around the clock. I mean 24-7. I think this is a Bahamian. Uh, it's a female. I, I don't know, maybe. Uh, no, no Bahamian. No Bahamian working. I mean, we poured up, we poured out the red carpet. All right, we poured out the red carpet for these people to come here in our country to work to make a better um, way for their family back home. 
you know, they're struggling, they're having a hard time economically. And um, and I think it's it's a good thing still, if we were to put things in perspective, if we were to turn our country um, economically, um, well, look at them piling up again. Put on the seatbelt. <laughs> See the buses out here? Every day these buses, you know what they're waiting on? They're waiting on the crew to get off this morning. And you know what I think I'm gonna do? I just wanna go to the gate. And I wanna go to the...